Okay, I'm going to show you an example activity using the force probe. I've already turned the device on. It's right here. In order to access the force probe, which is in the end of the device, there's a 632 screw right here. I'm just going to screw this little eye bolt in. There we go. Get that screwed in straight. Oh. Crooked. There we go. That would be more straight. Okay. Okay, and we screw that in. And since I'm going to measure displacement, I'm going to use the wheel for that, and I'm going to use the force probe to measure the force exerted by the spring. So, in fact, we're going to test Hooke's law here. So, let me uh, select uh, force probe over here, and let me select the wheel. And for the wheel, I'm only interested in the displacement R, so I can uncheck velocity and acceleration, so only the displacement shows up here. And let's record. All right. So let me get this. I'm going to push this to the right, push it back to the left. So I can move this any way I want. I can move it far. I can move it back and forth. Okay, so let's stop right there. So here now you're seeing... Uh, the displacement as measured by the wheel and the bottom graph, you're seeing the force as measured by uh, the force probe uh, and the top graph, so that is the force exerted on the force probe by the spring. And so if we could plot one of these versus the other, we would be able to measure the spring constant. And so we can do that. We have this parametric plot feature which allows you to plot any measured variable versus any other one. So here we go. We have the force on the bottom axis and it is the force in the y direction, that's all the force probe measures. The wheel is here and we want to select the measurement that the wheel makes that we want, which is R, the displacement. And now we just select the region we want to plot. So let's say we want to go from there to there. Okay, we now have a very nice straight line, which is the, the force versus uh, the displacement. If we wanted to plot displacement or uh, force on the uh, vertical axis and displacement on the horizontal axis, which might make more sense, we can do that if we want. We simply uncheck uh, force and we check it again because the second thing you check over here on the left will appear on the y-axis. So again, let's measure displacement versus force. Select a region. There we go. Uh, the slope of that will tell us the spring constant.